Hey Simmers, welcome to Newcrest. Today I will be doing an introduction to my family that I'm going to be playing with. So as you see, I filled up Newcrest. Um, the, these lots weren't made by me except this one, the Lloyd family. That was, that's the family, the Lloyd family is the family we're going to be playing with. Um, these other lots I downloaded from the gallery. I got these other families from the gallery. I pretty much filled it up. Um, I didn't change any of the lots except the, um, the winter lot because I needed more bedrooms. So I changed it a little bit. But the other lots were made by other creators. And I can't really show them to you because there's a lot of stuff I did. But I just wanted to let you know that I did not make them. So um, we're going to dive into that. So we're going to dive into their house. Um, um, so basically guys, I made this house. The other houses I made in the past haven't exactly been the best. But I binged like building tutorials found tips and tricks videos. I did a lot of researching in order to make a house that looks pretty decent, at least in my opinion. Um, so he's, as you can see from this view, it's a big comparison, it's a big comparison compared to my um, other houses I made. As you can see, the outside is pretty basic. I, I put some trees, which I never really do. I never really do, um, I never really do landscape, but I decided to try it for this one. I added some planters, and go down to the first floor. You can see I made, oops, I made a little entry area right here, because it was a weird shape, and I kind of regret doing the shape. I should have been done maybe a little different, because this was really hard to do because of the way I made it, but I tried my best. I made a little, uh, I decided green was going to be my theme for the bottom floor. So I added a living room, a step down living room, a little music area in the middle because I had nothing to put there, an entry area, a little kid section, kitchen, the dining room. And then over here we have the bedroom for my elder couple, the oldest. I saw this because I don't think it really matches. Patchwork pink bedroom. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might change the wallpaper. Okay, there we go. I decided to go for a more white theme. And over here we have a bathroom. I I went I recently went to a house and I saw that their bathroom, which went towards the pool, had a little uh, shower section with like some towels. So I tried to add it right here, a little place for them to shower before they go to the pool. And a little laundry. We have like a foyer for the stairs. Just some basic furnishing, nothing too fancy. And on the other side, we have the living room. And we have the mudroom, kind of, from going in the pool to this little mudroom. Um, I didn't do too much, but I tried to make it look presentable. And over here we have the backyard. I added a little grill area, studio, some benches, some pool. I don't know how to um, pool um, towel, pool towels, a pool, a little couch area for them to sit in the little outside area. Um, and then we can start to head upstairs. So as you can see, it looks a bit, it's a lot. So we have a little office area outside the bedrooms. Then over here to this section, we have the, um, this is basically the aunt's bedroom. Um, she has a little one. Um, his name, I don't remember his name because, yeah, I just don't remember. I made this family like a few days ago, so I don't really remember much of the details. But, um, she has a little one. Then over here we have, uh, Jack and Jill. Connected bedroom, connected by a bathroom. 
the laundry area with the laundry baskets and a little shower. I don't think I did a really good job in the shower, but I try my best because I don't have like the high school. Because I know we don't have like standing um, showers from the college pack. Okay, so I moved this bedroom over a little bit because I realized I didn't really fit in this room. Um, this is her bedroom. It's pretty basic. I decided that she would be obsessed with that. She would be obsessed with being an astronaut. I got like most of the astronaut photos, which is a lot. I put it in her room. Then I have a connected little uh, connected bathroom, Jack and Jill too. And over here, I decided to have like a theater room in the middle. Um, it's dark. You can always like change these lights, delete them, change the color, whatever. Um, it's pretty basic. Then over here, as you see, I haven't shown you this part because I've been prepping. But this is the um, the kind of new families. Uh, the elder couple who has a bedroom downstairs have a son I think it was a son or a daughter but I think it's a son a son and he got married and he has an infant and their daughter who lives in this bedroom I decided they would have their own separate kind of together space but also a little distance off from the west in the hallway is his office and the infant bedroom which belongs to both infants Okay guys, that's it for now. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see their cats.